In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom filtering for free. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, we've got this beat store here and we've got various different custom fields such as um, the artist's name, the BPM. We've also got custom fields regarding um, who helped produce this particular beat. So we want to allow customers to filter by these custom fields and a custom taxonomy as well. So for example, customers can filter by this particular artist. They can also filter by the BPM as well. Okay, and also who the producer is. Here we can see the active filters that we've got. We can remove a filter or we can just reset it all, okay? So in your case, this could be anything. This could be maybe you've got a hotel website and you want to allow customers to filter by the rooms, availability and so on, okay? So in this video, I'll show you how to achieve this for free using two different plugins, which is the Advanced Custom Field plugin and the Filter Everything plugin. So with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've installed advanced custom fields and the filter everything plugin. First, we'll go ahead and create a few fields. So I've already done a lot of these steps beforehand. So we'll head over to advanced custom fields. I'll click on field group. And here we've got a field group which says music. And within this group, we've got a few custom fields. Okay, so we've got a artist field, which is a checkbox. So let's quickly edit this, right? So it's a checkbox type, the labels artists. And then here we've got a list of a few different artists. Okay, the beats are created by different artists. They're different albums, different BPMs. And we've also got some custom taxonomies as well, which we might add into our filters. So let's quickly view our custom taxonomy. Okay, so here we've got genres and producers. All right, so that's our custom fields out the way. Let's go ahead and actually build out our filter, okay? So we'll navigate over to filters here and then filter set, right? We'll click add filter set. We'll give this a name. So we'll say music filter, for example. And then for the post type, we'll go ahead and select products here. All right, now we can add our first filter, okay? So we'll filter by, we'll scroll down to custom field and then here we'll enter in the meta key. So again, we need to head back over to advanced custom fields to get our meta key. So we'll go music and then for example, artists here where it says field name, this is the meta key. Okay. All right. So we'll copy this and let's paste it in here. All right. And then for the filter title, we'll go ahead and select artists. All right. Then we'll click add filter. We'll select custom field here, numeric, and this is for our BPM field because this is just strictly numbers, okay? So let's minimize this and click on BPM. We'll copy the field name and we'll paste it in here and then we'll say BPM. All right, we'll add a few more filters. All right, and then this time we're going to actually utilize our custom taxonomy. So here we'll select our producers, custom taxonomy. And then for the name, we'll say producers. All right. Okay. And let's hit publish. All right. So it's showing us an error message here and it's prompting us to fill in the variable URL. So what we're going to do is we'll copy this here. So we're not actually allowed to reuse this meta name here, but what we can do to make it different is we can add an underscore and then we'll put artist here. Okay. So that looks fine. And we'll do it for our other fields as well. Now let's hit publish. Okay, so that's published fine. And now we actually need to display this on our store page. And here, if you click on display filters, it'll give you a short code here. And it's also got a note letting you know that you can only display these filters on a post type archive page. So it should be fine to display this on our shop page. If you want to display it anywhere else, you will need a pro version. Okay, so let's go ahead and customize our shop page. So I'm going to hit appearance and then customize. All right, then we'll go widgets and then sidebar. And then we'll just search for short code and we'll paste in our short code here. All right, let's hit publish. And now let's view our shop page. All right, perfect. And now we can actually filter our products by the particular artist. Okay, so here you can see the filtering working exactly as it should. We can utilize the producer as well. Okay, and for the BPM, we can go ahead and say we only want beats, which is under um, 81 BPM. We can actively see the different filters which we've got going as well. So we can remove the ones which we don't want. And we can also add to the current filters as well. Okay, let's hit reset all. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below.